opening for Jamison first up at six here. When school starts next, next month, they will be the eyes and ears of illnesses at your child's school. But with mounting concerns about students and the coronavirus, what will school nurses be looking for and what should you expect if your child is sent to the clinic? The I team's Katie Legron tonight helping parents prepare for the reality of back to school during a pandemic. Ask any school nurse about going back to school. It's going to be an extreme challenge for us. Part of this is um, the fear of the unknown. The unknown of what's to come when you put thousands of students and staff together on a school campus during a health crisis the state has yet to get control over. We will see illness on our schools when we open them. Lisa Kern, supervisor of health services for the Pasco County School District, is in the thick of preparing for what's to come. Some challenges are already clear. Making sure there are enough supplies to go around. With 45 school nurses on staff covering two to three schools at a time, most of her district's 90 plus schools have clinic assistants who lack the qualifications to medically assess students. Regardless, her edict this year. Any kid with symptoms that are on that list from the CDC will be excluding from school, period. We're not going to take any chances. It's a guideline adopted and recommended by the National Association of School Nurses. Do you expect that more children will be sent home than ever before presenting with common symptoms? I do, because school nurses will proceed with an abundance of caution. Which means students sent to the school clinic with even a cough, stuffy nose or sore throat will likely be isolated and sent home. Those with fevers must stay off campus until they're fever free for 24 hours. CDC just relaxed its previous 72 hour fever free guidance. We are going to be the front line at school. While research shows kids are typically not impacted by the coronavirus as severely as adults, recent state data showed one in three kids tested for the virus came back positive in Florida. I do think that we're going to have our shutdowns once school gets started. Parents are advised to know their school's COVID-19 plan, who will be conducting health assessments on campus and how. The president of the nation's School Nurse Association is also pleading with parents. They will be making hard decisions. They will be making decisions that families are unhappy with. It's a time for us to uh, ramp up our kindness because we're about to face a difficult moment. You can find your school's COVID-19 school plan on your home district's website. We've also posted guidance from the National Association of School Nurses on ours. I'm my team investigator Katie Legrone taking action for you. Here's the rebound rundown on this one. School nurses will be taking a no chances approach if a child is sent to the clinic with common symptoms of the coronavirus. Now this means parents should expect kids to be sent home if they have an unexplained headache or sore throat. If a child has a fever, he or she would not be allowed to return to school until symptoms resolve and is fever free for 24 hours. Each school district has a COVID-19 plan. We've posted all of this information on abcactionnews.com slash rebound.